Missouri back in the Sweet 16 for the first time in seven years. But can the Tigers prevent the other Tigers, the Memphis Tigers, from making their fourth straight trip to an Elite Eight? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. It's our NCAA tournament previews presented by Brother Printers. Let's bring in CBS College Sports' and Steve Lapis to uh, break down the 2-3 matchup in the West Regional. And Steve, when you look at this, it's a very intriguing game because of the style of play. What do you think the keys to this game will be? is going to be how well Tariq Evans and the rest of Memphis handles the different traps that Missouri's going to throw at you. Nobody makes you make more decisions than teams coached by Mike Anderson because they'll trap the point guard, get the ball out of his hands, then not let him get it back, make somebody else bring it up. They play so helter-skelter, they don't let you run your stuff. But this Memphis team, very athletic, very tough as we know, and great defensively in a different way, that's why this is such an interesting game. You know, Tyreek Evans, it's been the key to this team all season long. When you talk about the move to make him to the point guard, they, they went from there on out undefeated. Uh, but, Steve, in the tournament, nine assists, eight turnovers. He's not a true point guard. How much of an issue is that? It's, a, it's an issue in this game without a doubt because, as I said, they scramble, Missouri will scramble you so much that you constantly have to be making decisions. So that's what Tariq Evans is going to have to deal with in this game. But not only him all of the Memphis players because they'll be trapping all over so even the big guys will be put in positions where they got to handle the ball so it's a decision making game for Memphis what about uh, the way that Memphis has been playing Steve in terms of the fact that look they hit 11 three pointers most of oh, 10 of them from Robert Sally against Cal State Northridge but then as a team they hit 10 three pointers and you've been saying all year long and it's true by the numbers this is not a three point shooting team with the way that Missouri plays defense and they f force you up the floor and make you play quick Memphis going to have to knock down threes again? They're going to have a lot of looks from three because when you're playing against a team that doubles a lot, they're going to be, you, when you double, obviously, there's some, somebody's alone somewhere. So if you're able to pass out of those traps, you're going to have some open looks. That's what they try to make you do. But I'll tell you this, if Memphis makes 10 or 11 threes in this game, they'll win easy. Steve, what about Missouri here? Where do you think Mike Anderson's squad may have an advantage? Well, Damari Carroll is obviously a great offensive player. This team plays really well defensively, and they have a style that's very difficult to counter because their goal is we don't want you to run what you want to run. We want to make you play. The question is, when they make a team with this kind of talent like Memphis and athleticism play, what is it going to mean for them? And they also, yeah, look, they've also been getting, like other teams in the tournament, contributions from players you don't expect, like Kim English in the win against Marquette. Helter Skelter, uh, you picked Purdue to beat Connecticut in the West Regional. Are you going to go with Memphis to lose to Missouri as well? No, I'm going with Memphis <laughs> to win this game. I think Memphis too athletic, and let's not forget this Memphis team is a great defensive team. All right, we'll see how it all plays out on Thursday night. Steve Lapis, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And, folks, don't forget, you can see Steve on CBS College Sports all throughout the rest of the tournament. And don't forget, you can see the rest of the tournament all on March Madness On Demand. Go to NCAA.com to find out how you can see every single game live online for free. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.